Hello, this is Christian. In this video, I'm going to reveal my six months front end developer roadmap, which is legit, uh, backed by proof. So, no matter if you're a complete beginner or if you've been coding for a while, you'll still have some stuff to learn from this, uh, this guide, and I'm sure you'll be able to apply it to your own situation. And then you'll be able to get to that place where you can make more money, you'll be able to travel, work remotely. The first thing that you need to do is uh, to figure out uh, your, your game plan, okay? And I'm not only talking about what you actually have to learn, but I'm talking about when are you gonna learn stuff. So you need to learn how to prioritize your time, you need to figure out how to work your calendar, work with your calendar as well. If this is just a hobby for you, it's fine to do it every now and then, but if you want to make it a career change and if you want to be a professional, then you need to allocate specific times during the day and ideally every single day to actually learn this stuff, put it into practice. And if you do this, you'll actually see progress. Otherwise, you'll be stuck forever in tutorial hell. You'll be the forever learner that doesn't make any money, okay? So you don't want that. You wanna be extremely specific with all your actions because that's the only way to win. You have to plan, otherwise you uh, plan to fail. So assuming you are a complete beginner, the first thing that I want you to do is to forget about projects, about portfolios, about websites, forget all those. The first thing that you need to do is to get extremely comfortable with the syntax of all the programming languages that you'll be learning as a front-end developer, which are HTML, CSS and JavaScript. You want to be extremely good writing in your specific language because otherwise you won't be able to follow along, you'll always be stumbled by your miswriting, I guess. So you need to know exactly if someone says, write a variable called this, you're gonna be able to write it from your head. You don't need to look uh, at the screen because otherwise, if you have to always look at the screen when you copy code from your tutorials or whatever, you'll lose a lot of time, you'll get frustrated, etc., etc. And that's why your first step should uh, be uh, learning how to write your syntax. The next thing after you learn how to write your syntax is to understand the concepts, you know, the functions, the variables, the for loops, the if-else statements, understanding what a div does and what are the most important HTML tags, what are the most important CSS properties. Once you understand all those concepts, then you can go to the next stage, which is starting to build small projects with JavaScript, HTML and CSS. And I'm going to give you a few examples, but these are not uh, exhaustive examples. You can create a drop-down, you can create a counter app. So for example, you have a button and when you click on this button, you increase a number. That's one example. You can create a model. You click on a button and then some model pops up and you have some text in there. You can replicate a Facebook post or uh, an Instagram post. You can recreate a thread on Reddit. Anything that's like that, that has been made with HTML, CSS and JavaScript is gonna help you tremendously learning how to code and it's gonna build that problem solving skills that you actually need to become a front-end developer. So far, you only worked with vanilla languages. That's how we call using just a plain language without any libraries, without any frameworks. What you wanna do after is to learn a library. The reason why you need to learn a library is because you will be making almost no money or you'll be working on Fiverr if you just know vanilla uh, JavaScript or vanilla CSS or vanilla HTML, if that makes sense. So you need to choose a library. The library that I'm going to ask you to learn is React because it's the most popular. There are a bunch of jobs available and it's easy to learn. If you choose Vue or Angular, they are also good, but they are less popular. So the chances of you getting hired with a Vue job are way, way smaller. But, for example, I had clients that learned React with me and then got Vue jobs, right? So you can transition from one library to another. It's not a big deal if you understand how to think. What you're gonna do is you're gonna go to the docs of React and you're gonna go to the tutorial and you try to understand how React works. Once you do that, you can go back to all the projects that you've built by yourself using vanilla JavaScript and then you're gonna recreate those projects with React. That's gonna reinforce your knowledge of React and it's gonna help you understand even more why React is so much better compared with just vanilla JavaScript, just vanilla HTML and just vanilla CSS. Once you're done with that, then it's time for you to learn something called Git and maybe open an account on GitHub as well and then you can start working on your portfolio application. Then you'll start pushing your code to Git and to GitHub 
so potential employers can see that you have the skills and that you know how to use Git. So you'll start working on this portfolio app. Ideally, you'll be working on this app for like three months or so. And once you're done, you can start applying and you can start uh, crushing it. Hopefully, you'll be getting a lot of interviews. You'll pass those, those interviews and then you'll eventually get hired. I guess that's it. Um, let me know if you have any more questions. If you want to work directly with me, there is a link for that in the description of this video. I'll see you in the next one. Cheers. Thank you.